The CBE has reviewed the province's 2019-20 budget. We can now say with certainty that the provincial budget will significantly impact Calgary students and their learning. In June, the CBE's 2019-20 budget was submitted to the province as required. Despite increasing enrollment and other inflationary costs, we decided to plan our budget on the assumption that our funding would be frozen at 2018-19 school year levels. We felt that this was a prudent approach, taking into account government statements in the legislature that educational funding would be maintained and that student enrollment growth would be funded. Now we are dismayed to find out that the CBE will be receiving at least $32 million less this school year than last school year. This funding cut comes despite our enrollment increasing by nearly 2,400 students, the equivalent of four large elementary schools. This cut is in addition to the reductions already reflected in our June budget submission to the government. While we agree that base funding per student remains unchanged, base funding only represents 66% of our overall budget. While the province funded enrollment growth at a cost of $29 million, they also eliminated three grants totaling $85 million and only partially replaced this cut with a one-time transition grant of $24 million. As this $32 million cut comes in the midst of the school year, the impact will be much larger. We are estimating we will need to reduce spending by at least $48 million to balance our budget by the end of the school year. So by way of example, if we are able to not hire a staff at the beginning of the school year and their salary is $80,000, we can save $80,000. Because we are now in the midst of the school year, we can only save the portion of salary that's left to run in the remainder of the year. That puts us in the unenviable position of having to potentially lay off more people now to achieve the necessary savings over the remainder of the school year. All options are on the table. Uh, that means we will be looking at uh, potentially larger class sizes. So I think that has a great interest for our families and students. Uh, and given the growing complexity in our, our classrooms, that will be a challenge. Uh, we are looking potentially at service reductions or changes. So there are certain programs that I think everybody has an interest in. We will have to look at those very carefully uh, and decide whether we can actually continue to afford to offer them not only this year, but into the future, because this problem does not go away next year.